Hi, I'm Peter Jarrett, and last week I was lost, and this week I'm found. And I've also found a classic gossip host, the model Lindsay Ferguson. Hi, I'm glad to be here for the launch of the Brighton Bible. And this is Gossip TV. And just a note to the photographers, don't take a picture of this, it's top secret. Brighton has been the inspiration for the book that Peter principally has put together. I came to Brighton once for a weekend and I stayed. And I guess a lot of you did the same sort of thing. I'm totally inspired by anybody who can do anything in Brighton and make it a reality. And I have actually seen the book earlier tonight and these people have actually made it a reality. It's a collection of stunning images about Brighton and about Brighton's cast of characters. I thought it was quite good looking. It's like someone saw with this brand new Brighton Bible book. Uh, I've been using, can I say using you, Peter? I've been using Peter Jarrett for quite a while on the show to do gossip for me uh, because he's doing gossip television. Uh, sadly, the gossip he gave me wasn't that much of a gossip, but we never got sued once. Uh, which is of course what we were there for. People said to me about two or three years ago, he's going to produce the Brighton Bible, and uh, well, I'd like to be in it. And I thought, here we go, it's more bullshit, it's not going to happen, but it's happened at last, and well done. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Brighton and Hope is the best city in the world, isn't it? friendliest cities on the face of the earth, and certainly in the UK, and I wanted to represent that in this book. I hope that everyone will uh, receive it in the same spirit it was meant. What I'd also like to do right now is thank the photographers once again that have contributed to this project along with Diana Franchi, our lead photographer on the project, Brittany Snail for her help. Um, I'd like very much to thank my managing director, i to i Technology, Gossip TV, that I appear on weekly, Mr. Philip Bradley Smith, that's gossiptv.co.uk, for any of you out there who haven't seen it yet. Last but not least, my beautiful wife, Corrine, for having indulged me for all these years that it's taken to put together this project, and thank you all for coming. <laughs> To wear now, sail in a way for you. Forever and ever, you stay in my heart, and I will love you. Forever and ever, how I love you. Forever and ever, who only be heartbreak for me. Well, we're outside Quayside at Karma Bar, Brighton Marina, taking a breather from the craziness that's been going on inside during the launch of the book Brighton Bible. And I'm speaking right now to Councillor David Smith, who was ex-mayor of Brighton and who kindly has come to say a few kind words again about Brighton Bible. David, thanks so well, much. Yeah, thank you. Uh, yes, my full title is yes. Yes, I'm the I'm the lead councillor in charge of uh, culture, tourism recreation, sports, and anything important in the city. David is a key person to know. He's at the top of the pedestal. I mean, I couldn't have said all of that. It's a mouthful. David, how did you enjoy the evening? I thought it was fantastic there, and this is the tattler. This is the tattler <laughs> of Brighton. 
So the, the Brighton Bible is what we call the Tatler. All the important people in the city are in it, and there will be in future volumes. Oh, oh thank you. We hope there, there are future volumes, and that's the kindest thing I've heard said this evening about our little oof, Brighton Bible. But listen, also, David, you are a very high-profile person here in Brighton, um, and you're also quite responsible for the direction of a lot of the social life in Brighton and some of the um, sort of facilities, like the volleyball that yes. you sort of brought here last year after the it's Olympics right. yes, and right. things yes. like that. Mm. And um, wh- wh- how do you feel about, uh, overall, about our city? Well, I think it's a fantastic city. Um, obviously, our festival is the best one in England. I think we, uh, after with the Edinburgh one, we match anywhere in Europe for culture as a city there. We are a young city. We are. And I think this is a super thing about it there. And we are a 24 hours a day economy. For seven days a week for yeah. 365 days a year. It's a cosmopolitan city. Everybody's welcome, and I think this is marvellous. And I think the best picture you've got in here, yeah, is the one here. There. Oh, is that funny? The is young that man. the young the man? man looks there. a lot like you. He does, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much, yeah, David, cheers. for coming thank on Gossip TV yeah, and coming uh, to the launch. Yes, it's and true, we'll see yeah. you later. This is Mike Mendoza, and Mike, what's been going on with you these days? Well, I, I, I'm here for the launch of the Brighton Bible. Uh, very thank upset. you for coming. There's, there's a full page picture of me. Please. Do <laughs> only one bloody page. What's going on here? One page is all I get. It's not good enough, I tell you. For those of you who may not know, Mike um, was uh, one of the most rated DJs in the UK, overnight DJs, top one, for what, four years running, was uh, at it? At least, yes. Uh, least, yeah. With Talk Sport Radio. Yep. And I had the pleasure of being one of his guest presenters on a, a, a weekly basis. Yes. And then Mike has subsequently moved on to a number of other radio uh, stations. He um, will soon be broadcasting uh, from a Los Angeles radio station. Again, I'll be one of his guest presenters yes. there. Uh, but I can actually do it with the wonders of technology from my own home. Uh, we've got some fantastic equipment in there. Yes, you know, I, you know, I got do. a virtual telephone exchange. Our Los Angeles listeners think I'm there. Yeah. And um, we'll be broadcasting to what? Is it 10,000 listeners across it's, California? Uh, it's 10,000 and then another 20,000 who download afterwards podcasts. Well, I just love all that sort mm. of thing. I like big and numbers. It's really funny. We can actually see there's a graph that comes yeah. up where everyone's listening oh, and cool. 10% actually listening in Britain. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, so we'll have a little captive audience here in Britain. Yeah. Yeah. They won't understand a thing we say. Well, they won't understand you. No, well, they never did. No, it's So, true. God help them. Anyway, that's why I do it all in pictures these days, like the book. Anyway, but it's so good of you to uh, come. You've enjoyed yourself? I've, it's been thoroughly fantastical and brilliant. Good. Well, I'll be inside and seeing you at the bar shortly. Yeah, and I look forward to seeing you on my show. Well, we've got Trudy Stiles, who was singing for us inside here at Karma Bar, Bright Marina, for the launch of Brighton Bible. And Trudy, of course, has two fabulous pages in it. And you may remember, Trudy, from our Christmas special in the back of Humzilla, the stretch limousine. Trudy, how are you? I'm fabulous. Did you enjoy your show? Uh, I loved it. It was great this well, evening. Your songs were beautiful. Oh, thank good you very much. voice as ever. I just thought... I do like two songs of songs that I used to do when I first started, and then I choose two that I'm like are up to date for Trudy right now. Yeah. So yeah. I thought they were quite poignant. Trudy. And the audience loved you. They laughed it up. They did. There's yeah. quite a lot of them, isn't there? Yeah, it's a good turnout. I was like, oh my lord! It was the creme de la creme. I was like, hello, O2 Arena. I mean, I'm just wondering how many houses have been burgled in Brighton tonight. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. You know what I mean? And the top houses as well. <laughs> but Trudy, Bungalow. listen, I will be having you at more of my events because people seem to love you. And oh, I just fabulous. love the, the frock. Who made you this? I like it. Jez Eaton. Give us a little turnaround. Jez Eaton. JezEaton.com. JezEaton.com. Yeah, you knocked up in five minutes. Well, everybody gets knocked up in Brighton in five oh, minutes absolutely. anyway. Well, Trudy, thank you very much. Thank and you, you reminded me of one other plug that I had to get on. Uh, we wanted to thank Truly Super Limited for their Buzzy Balls. Uh, these are raw, healthy chocolate treats, superfood snacks made with honey and um, bee pollen and a whole bunch of other stuff. But they taste really good. I'm not really sure what else is in there. Thank you very much for your Buzz Balls. Buzzy Balls. Well, guys, that's Trudy. This is Peter, and I think we'll close gossip tonight by saying thanks for coming down to Brighton. Thank you, Trudy. Thank you very much. And thanks for watching Gossip TV. Bye. I thought what I would do is I would read you a poem about Brighton, as it's been the inspiration for this book. It's called Party Town. I wasn't born here, but I was born to be here, in between the village and the palace pier. I love those characters, though they're so hard to believe. There's Witty Dick in his leather skirt, with his ten Pekingese, host parties that last all night. But just like me, they crack and peel in the cruel daylight. 
Nothing here is quite like what it seems. A hundred thousand people, but a million dreams. The lights of Brighton, they make me feel so free. I'm driving down the London road to where I want to be, in party town, in Brighton. You make me feel so good. Now, stop it.